this is the lightest, sexiest notebook that Toshiba produce. Probably anyone produces. Have a quick look. Incredibly thin. It's got an optical drive in it. We've got a trans-reflective display. So you can use this thing in bright sunlight and it still has the contrast to be able to be read quite clearly. And perfectly honest, it's less than a kilo. So let's pull it apart. Have a quick look at what's inside it. The case itself is made of magnesium. Probably the only way you can make something this thin and have it stay all in one piece. Unit. Okay. Very, very thin piece of magnesium alloy. We have the optical drive, which we can carefully unplug. So there we have the thinnest, smallest optical drive in the world, seven mils thick. We have the hard drive, which is available as parallel, sorry, serial ATA, as this one, or we have a solid state version. Tell me about the solid state version. Does it have more storage or less storage? No, it's got less storage. It's actually a 64 gigabyte solid state drive. Um, that's a technology versus price limitation at the moment. Probably by mid next year, the capacity of that drive will increase. The speed that you can pull the data off is slightly slower than off a normal hard drive, but you've got no waiting. The thing will just start pulling the data off straight away. There's no waiting for the disk to spin up. So overall, the performance increases quite well with a solid state drive. The machine itself would have the smallest motherboard I've ever seen. So that's the motherboard on the machine. There's the wireless card, the memory, the CPU. The way Toshiba's managed to make this so small is to double side the board. So instead of only having the components on one side of the board, we pull this off and have a look on the other side. There's a whole lot more components on the other side as well. And that's basically it. We cannot build enough of these things to satisfy demand. Is, is there a are there different models of the same one? Or is this well, there are two, two different models. One with solid state, okay. one with parallel ATA hard drive. Right, okay. Um, some of the other features in it, you can see there's uh, rubber mounts for the hard drive. Give it some cushioning. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a drop sensor in it, so a 3D motion detector, so if you do drop the unit, it takes 3 centimetres to detect it's dropping, it takes another 10 centimetres to pull the heads off, so you drop it from more than a foot above the disc, by the time it hits, the disc's parked. Mm. Not a problem you'd have with a solid state drive either. Mm. Mm. That is the bottom of the keyboard, so you have a mylar cover across the bottom of the keyboard. Um, do, are most of the, the components sourced from Toshiba, or do you, is it well, Toshiba um, assembles the board. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the chips will be made by Toshiba, but of course the video chip comes from Intel, the CPU comes from Intel. Um, the Wi-Fi card comes from Intel. But a lot of the smaller components will of course be, be sourced within, uh, within the Toshiba group itself. Transreflective screen is a half-silvered screen where you can turn the backlight off and use ambient light reflected back towards you to produce the brightness in the screen cuts down significantly on battery use, and the brighter the sunlight, the more light's reflected back. So if we yeah. uh, do yeah. that, I don't know if you can actually see the screen, there's not a lot of light in here because we're indoors. Yeah, oh yes, we can, we can uh, see it here. Yeah. Yeah. But the brighter the light's shining on it, yeah. the better the, uh, yeah. the contrast. Yeah, we can see it quite clearly actually, yeah, and there's with the light on. Mm. Okay, so uh, that would okay. make a huge difference to battery life huge difference in battery life. We're quoting 12 and a half hours. Uh, they are relatively expensive. Uh, the solid state version is in excess of $4,000. New Zealand dollars. New Zealand dollars. Um, 
but it's fairly unique in the marketplace.